Well, apparently, Ryzen CPUs are still exploding if you put them in an ASRock motherboard. Well, uh, you should probably not buy ASRock. This has been going on for months, and Gamers Nexus just made a video about it, and we don't really know much more. However, he did say that if you do have an ASRock motherboard, that you should not leave your computer idle for too long and disable sleep and disable hibernate, because maybe that helps. He's not even sure. No one knows what's happening. <laughs> not even ASRock. And it feels like ASRock don't even want to tell you what's the problem, because if they knew what was the problem, they should have fixed it, because it's been months. So that's a skill issue. But they don't want to tell you that they don't know what's the problem, because that's also like a bigger skill issue. If you don't have ASRock, don't buy ASRock. That seems to be something that will be said to people, at least until this is fixed. And what's funny about this is Hardware Unbox made a bunch of videos testing every AM5 motherboard from the big manufacturers. You know, ASRock, Gigabyte, MSI, Asus. And the verdict from those videos was you should buy ASRock because they are the best value. Well, that's awkward. I have a friend who bought an ASRock motherboard because of those videos. And I know like three or four other guys who bought ASRock because of those videos. Now, Ryzen CPU is exploding. This is nothing new. Most of you probably know about it. The only people who don't know about this are MD fanboys who are with their horse blinders in their eco chambers. I, I don't know what you're talking about here. 9750 XT, FSR. When the 7950X 3D launched, a bunch of motherboards were making it explode and uh, they were ASUS. However, with that one, the problem was identified pretty quickly. Apparently, when you turned on XMP, the SOC voltage would shoot up to 1.3 or higher than that, and that is above spec, I think. So what ASUS did is, well, they first lied to everybody, because why not? And then they released a bunch of BIOS updates that locked the SOC voltage to 125 or 1.3 or something and the problem was resolved fast forward to now which is what sucks about this asrock problem because it doesn't look like it's the soc voltage it doesn't look like it's an expo problem and it doesn't look like it's a ppo problem no one knows which is fun <laughs> yeah if you don't have asrock don't buy asrock right now and if you do have asrock keep an eye on uh, bios updates i don't know i wish i could tell you what to do but i can't because apparently no one has an idea maybe you in the comments uh, you learned something if you do well share it with everybody stop gatekeeping information you because people need to know so that their cpus don't explode my understanding is that this is also still affecting X3D CPUs, right? I'm not sure. This is weird. PC parts catching fire and exploding? That's not supposed to be normal. But at this point, it's like, oh, well, it's just another Tuesday. <laughs>